My name is Karen Eileen Gordon, and my biggest culture shock happened in high school. I was on a National Honor Society trip um, with some fellow students, and they housed us in the local community where we were with Bartow, Florida. And I was getting ready to go to sleep, and there was this adorable, um, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, eight-year-old girl. I was sharing her bedroom for the night, and we're you know, putting on our PJs and getting ready, and she says to me, um, can I see your horns? And I, I was shocked, of course, and I said, excuse me? And she's like, my mama told me all Jewish people have horns, and I, I just like to see yours. And there was no malice in it. It wasn't malicious in any way. It was so sweet and innocent and such a shock and such a depth charge that it really, uh, really started my whole exploration into how do people view other people across the world. Good evening. When I was 17, I was in Tallahassee, Florida, creating a mock government along with 299 other Florida high school girls. It was a program called Florida Girls State. Basically, summer camp for nerdy kids with political leanings. We were housed on Florida State's campus. At night, after full days of planning sessions, campaigning, and voting, we had social time in the dorms. Girls popping in and out of rooms, laughing and talking. I was about to go back to my room when one of the girls, a black girl, asked if she could talk to me privately. She asked me to step into her room. To my surprise, this political leader in training closed and locked her door, then spun to face me. In a tone I had not heard in her political speeches that week, she said, I heard you don't believe in Jesus. I backed away from her. That's right, I said, I'm Jewish. I wondered how the topic had come up. Who was talking about my religion and why? I was running for a mock political office. I wondered about the same conversations happening in the real political world. Why don't you believe in Jesus, she said. I cursed myself for not paying better attention during my nine years of Hebrew school. <laughs> well, Jewish people, we believe that Jesus was a wise man and that he did exist, but we don't believe he was the son of God. You have to believe in Jesus. I tried to think of something to say. I was a debater. I could argue any topic. But in that moment, I just stared. Then she burst into hysterical tears. I didn't see that coming. One part of my brain was trying to understand what it would feel like to have that kind of passion and conviction for your spiritual beliefs. As strange as this girl's approach was, she was clearly on fire with the conviction of her Jesus. I envied her. The other part of my brain was scared. I'm sorry, I said. If you don't believe in Jesus, I have to beat you up. If I hadn't understood the force of her intention, I might have laughed. But she was serious, and I was locked in her room. She was much bigger and taller than me, very muscular and athletic. Roller derby girl, 
versus debate geek. I said, you don't need to do that. Yeah, I do. I said, it's not right to hurt people because they don't believe the same things you do. My brain felt scrambled. I moved slowly around the room toward the door. I don't remember what else I said to get out of that room. If you can have a blackout without drinking, that's what I had. I was in shock. Somehow, I made it back to my room. I had grown up with stories of Jewish persecution. My own grandmother hid in the forests of Russia with her family, eating onions like apples to survive the pogrom death squads. And here, in this place where I was brought to recreate a microcosm of the political world, I had experienced my own little microcosm of how religious wars ignite between people who do not know one another at all and are not much interested in talking. Way more an expansive education, I'm guessing, than Girl State had intended for me. The experience taught me a ton of things. Mainly, that I had no interest in pursuing a career in government. <laughs> Instead, I learned biblical Hebrew to understand the origins of my culture. After college, I won a fellowship to serve as a US ambassador of goodwill in England. I talked with business leaders who wanted to learn about my country. I learned two other languages so that I could have conversations with people culturally different from myself. And later, I studied spiritual teachings outside of the religion I was born into to try to understand how every culture viewed everyone else. I now love Jesus <laughs> and Moses, Ruth and Mary. Buddha, Kuan Yin, Allah, Krishna, and all the rest. If I could find that girl today, I would thank her in a crowded public room. <laughs> <laughs>